What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video, I will be talking Ahsoka, Part 3, Time to Fly. If you like this video, then please consider liking and subscribing for more Ahsoka reviews and other Star Wars videos. This video will have spoilers for Part 3, so consider this your warning. Part 3, Time to Fly. The episode opens in hyperspace. Sabine and Hu Yang are sparring. Ahsoka then tests Sabine with a helmet covering her face to see if she can sense Ahsoka. She does not. We then go to the New Republic fleet. Hera asks Chancellor Mothma to send ships to Setos after giving her a report on Corellia. They refuse. We then see Jason uh, come up, you know, to his mom and they have a little chat and, you know, he says he wants to be a Jedi because apparently he hasn't had any training. And then Hera tells Ahsoka and Sabine about the New Republic not helping. Big surprise there. They near Setos. They are attacked by ships led by Shin and Marok. Ahsoka and Sabine manage to take out all but Shin and Marok before their ship is rendered immobile by the the hyperdrive ring that Elsbeth is building. They manage to get it working, and while trying to land on Setos, they see Purgil, and they land on Setos in the forest and hide from Shin and Marok. And... You know, they scanned and found out that, you know, Elsbeth is building the large hyperdrive ring f to get to Thrawn. Uh, we then are uh, shown Balin telling his goons to go find the Jedi in the forest, and that's where the episode ends. What I liked. Uh, it's great to see Pergil. They're cool. I mean, space whales, a little weird, but I think, I think they looked cool in the, the show. And, you know, it, it's given us that little connection to Rebels and a connection to finding Ezra and Thrawn. The dogfight with the ships was, it was pretty good. Um, you know, it was kind of fun. And Hu Yang continuing to tell Sabine that uh, basically she sucks at being a Jedi, I think is great. And the best part of this episode easily is Hu Yang. And maybe I'm a tad biased, you know, because I like David Tennant, who voices him, you know, from Doctor Who, but he's great in this. So there's that. And, uh, yeah, that's that's really about it in terms of the what I liked. Um, now, what I didn't like, well, they, uh, they have a reference in this to the animated show Star Wars Resistance. Uh... And for anybody that doesn't know, which is going to be basically anyone watching this, that was an animated show that they made a couple of years ago, uh, sequel trilogy era. Uh, yeah, sucked. Don't watch it. And uh, yeah, one of the senators is related to the main character from that show. And uh, yeah, that's all I'll say about that. Um uh, the more live-action Ahsoka I get, the less I like live-action Ahsoka. So I I don't I don't know I, I'm I'm not necessarily liking because I I think Ahsoka's choice to train Sabine I don't understand. Why isn't she training Jason Sindula? Maybe he doesn't have maybe he doesn't show the Force, but Sabine does. That makes no sense to me. Whatever, I think that's dumb. Uh eh. Uh, you know, Sabine and her training as a Jedi, I'm, I'm not a fan of. And she it's basically shown in this episode she can't use the Force. They didn't even do, like, when she was trying to force the cup when Ahsoka and her were talking, and she didn't actually manage to move it at all. Now, I'm sure they'll she'll move it. She'll manage to move the cup or do something Force-wise by the end of the show because... Sabine has to be a Jedi and be able to use the Force. Whatever, wah, wah. Guess I better live with it now, because I think it's happening. 
but I'm probably going to complain about it uh, whenever that happens. Um, we'll see. Ugh, I just don't like it. And uh, the New Republic still continues to be absolutely retarded. I think I think the New Republic is stupid, and I, I don't even feel bad that it got destroyed because, quite frankly, they're dumb. It's not a surprise that well, to be honest with you, they have to be so stupid to explain why they got destroyed in The Force Awakens. You just you have to be so stupid. Oh, the Imperials, they're, they're not a threat. Blah, blah, wah, wah. They are a threat. You know, 30, 20 years from when Ahsoka is, they'll, they'll get destroyed. No one will give a crap. You know, we'll just rebuild the new, new Republic and blah, ugh. That's a... Uh, okay, that's rambling now, but anyways... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Overall, I thought this episode was was a little disappointing. Actually, it wasn't that exciting. Not a whole lot happened of interest. And uh, yeah, like I don't understand why. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why Ahsoka is training Jason. Uh, I'd give this episode a five out of ten. What did you think of the episode? Is there any way the Sabine stuff gets good? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think it matters to the explanation. Uh, you can tell me in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks for watching.